We caught up with the Bachelorette's Tyler Cameron. The marathon runner and author has teamed up with Degree Deodorant to help marathon runners with self-courage. Degree Deodorant started the Not Done Yet Marathon team to, to encourage people to get moving again and to break down those barriers of self-doubt. And, and the marathon, there's a lot of self-doubt that goes into that, you know. 21% um, of runners don't finish because of self-doubt. And so Degree Deodorant uh, created this team to help runners who weren't successful in their first attempt at running the marathon to get back on that starting line and do it again. And we have some incredible runners with some incredible stories. Uh, we have Ashley, who donated a kidney and used her recovery to get back ready for a marathon. And she wasn't successful in her first marathon, so she's back at it again. We got Mike with vision impairment, and he's teamed up with the Achilles Foundation to help get him a guide runner and get on that starting line and run his marathon. Uh, and then we got Segura. Segura is battling with MS and she was walking with a cane and now she's running marathons. And these stories are just so important. It's about keep moving, keep breaking down those barriers of self-doubt. And for them to be where they are right now is incredible. So, you know, when I heard about this, I just had to, you know, join the team, be a part of it and help get them to the finish line and see them succeed and, and accomplish the goals that they want to accomplish. So the best way to get involved is one, go to my Instagram account, comment a time where you were down now or you were struggling, but you said, I'm not done yet and share your story with us. And then you have an opportunity to win a one-on-one -on -one chat with me, but also follow my Instagram stories because I'm going to be, you know, giving you all the content and letting you know how Mike, Ashley, and Segura are doing throughout the race. Uh, it's going to be an epic day and I just can't wait to share their success with everybody. Um, but you can also go to DegreeDeodorant.com to see more of what the Not Done Yet team is doing. So how has Tyler overcome challenges in his life? As an athlete my whole life, you know, I've had, you, you battle self-doubt all the time when you're trying to win a starting position, you know, are you good enough, are you good enough, you know, and that's, you know, that's just one thing, you know. Um, losing my mother, you know, that, 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 was a, that was a tough one for me and for my brothers and, you know, we, we struggled with a lot of things, you know, that's, that was a rock, that was the foundation of, of who we all were. And um, so now, you know, we use that as, you know, we're not done yet. We're not, we're not gonna give up because she's not here. We're gonna now push even harder to make her proud, you know, and prove all that she did for us can be so much more for everyone else. And uh, it's just finding things that you struggle with and finding your why, your tick, what makes you go to keep pushing yourself through those dark times and when your back's against the wall and to tell yourself, I'm not done yet. Besides running, how else does he stay active and healthy? Nutrition is so important. You know, I, I have a health food restaurant that I own and I'm in there every day eating, you know, all the healthy fruits, veggies, all that. Um, but also mental health is important. You know, having conversations with people and, and diving into the things that you're struggling with, you know, that's so important as well. So, you know, health, you know, mental health, you know, physical health are all just things that everyone needs to focus on more and, you know, whether it's sweating, whether it's having tough conversations um, or eating right, all will make such a big difference in our lives. When he's not working, he turns to activities that help him disconnect from the hustle and bustle. Whether that's scuba diving, lately it's been for me, or whether it's golfing, um, I, honestly, this is gonna sound crazy, mowing the lawn. I love cutting my yard because it's cathartic, it's, it's my hands are, are disconnected from everything and just me getting the job done and, and, and you know having a start and an end goal. And uh, those things kind of help me get my head and my mental space back together. And that's just what I love to do when I'm not working. And being a Bachelorette alum and runner up, how has it been getting back into the dating scene? Ever since the show, it's been a, a whirlwind and learning a lot how to date again, you know, because my dating life has changed completely. And it's, uh, it's public, it's under the scrutiny of everybody now. And uh, it's, I've had my ups and downs, my battles. And what's cool is we started a radio show called the Everybody But Me Show every Tuesday on the AMP app. And uh, if you go to my Instagram, you can see all that and follow along. And we talk about these things. We talk about the things I struggle with in dating and in this world and, and just dating in general for everybody. You know, it's me and my best friends that I've grown up with here in Jupiter all sitting down and having these conversations. So uh, tune into that if you want to learn more about what's going on in my dating world. His greatest life lesson? I'm, I'm gonna share one about uh, accountability and, and it's gonna, it'll tie into the marathon. It's one of my favorite sayings. If you want to go somewhere fast, go by yourself. If you want to go somewhere far, go with somebody. And, uh, and that could be used in life, you know, in training for a marathon, anything, you know. It, it's, it's bring people around you that are gonna help make you better. And uh, accountability can take you so far. And so find the right people, surround yourselves in the right circles, hold each other accountable, and you're gonna grow and get so much better together. 
um, you know, you know, selfishness never gets you far. So, so build a team and get strong together. What's next for Tyler? I'm really locking in on my construction company. I'm back in Jupiter. I'm building houses again. I got, I got about five, six projects right now going on. I'm about to start a huge project uh, that I can't wait to share with everybody soon. And that's going to bring me a lot of work, a lot of houses to work on. So make sure you tune in for that. Um, but yeah, just getting around my family again, uh, being around my best friends and building houses and planning my roots and, and really trying to grow a business and build a legacy here in my hometown, Jupiter, Florida.